At the end of the tunnel in Chico's homeless crisis, Action News Now anchor Haley Watts met up with Mayor Andrew Coolidge to find out what happens next. I never thought at the beginning of this that we'd be sitting on a, you know, a pallet shelter with 177 small units, that the Jesus Center would be at the expansion they're at, and that our areas would finally be getting clean. Chico's come a long way since 2021 when a group of homeless people sued over being forced to move off city land. Homeless camps had been temporarily okayed during the pandemic. It's been a long road to hoe, and, and I think the, it's paid off. By January 2022, Warren v. Chico was settled. I caught up with Mayor Andrew Coolidge back then for a look at the $1.7 million pallet shelter about to open up so that camp clearouts could begin. By May, the city cleared City Plaza under the terms of the deal, offering people a designated shelter space. They cleared a massive camp at Comanche Creek by July of 2022. You, know, you look around Comanche Creek now, it, you can't really tell there was anything here. You know, this area is completely transformed. You know, you go to one mile, you can't really tell what had happened there. You know, is there some long-term environmental damage from microplastics or, you know, contaminants that were in the soil? Certainly those were aspects that we were very concerned with. The last major homeless camp at Depot Park, gone by the end of this past August. Coolidge says now it's about maintenance. As soon as these areas pop up, now we're instantly responding to it with the three-day notice, then the seven and the seven. The alternative site at Cohasset and Eaton Roads has a bad rap. It's the place for people not approved for the other shelters, often for behavioral reasons, and it is still packed. But you're going to see that site have more rules and regulations and enforcement too, you know, once we can get our target team focused on that aspect of it, but it is uh, something that we need to have. And, um, you know, whether we end up moving that site eventually somewhere else, you know, we certainly have the parameters to do that within the settlement agreement. As for the people who just don't want shelter. You're going to start seeing prosecutions come from the city of Chico. And that's really going to be the issue that we start focusing on as we move through this more. We see the issue of people with mental health issues perhaps in the downtown area or causing problems. What can the city do about that? There's really nothing you can do. You can't tell somebody who's sitting on a park bench like, hey, you got to go because we don't like the side of you. Obviously, we don't want to get into that. Right. But at the same time, there are people who need mental health. Um, one of the things I did was support the governor's push to um, you know, I don't agree with him on everything, but he did do a push to actually get people in the conservatorship and, and, and help them. He's talking about the CARE Court program, required statewide by December 2024. It allows for forced mental health care for those with severe psychotic disorders. Another twist in the homeless crisis? San Francisco is challenging the case that set the precedent for Chico's lawsuit. So if the Supreme Court rules on it, we'll see a national standard. Whether that is the rest of the country has to do what California has to do or California can do what the rest of the country can do. But either way, Coolidge says the pallet shelter isn't going away, but it's not a permanent place for anyone. Do we have the things in place like affordable housing, um, access and that sort of thing where people can realistically make a life for themselves out of almost nothing? You know, there's there's a pathway out for sure, and we've had people who have found that. Do we need more affordable housing? Absolutely. But for now, Coolidge is feeling optimistic. I think the outcome has been pretty amazing. So, you know, it's not perfect yet, but I think we're getting there. Haley Watts, Action News Now coverage you can count on. Well, COVID money helped with building the pallet shelter. Moving forward, managing the homeless crisis in Chico will cost an estimated, well, a couple million dollars a year from the city's general fund.